Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel Get Crafty with Sally. My name is Sally Poole. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Albany, Oregon. Welcome. Today we're going to be making this cute card using the new Country Birdhouse Bundle. Um, it's an awesome little set, really cute stuff. You can either die cut the birdhouse or stamp it or stamp it and die cut it. There are 23 dies in this set, so that's quite a few. Um, you can find it on pages 50 and 51 in the new annual catalog. I am, I can show you the cover. Uh, but we're not allowed to show you the inside yet until it goes live next month. So, um, what I was going to say is this bundle is part of a suite called the Country Woods Suite. And it comes with another stamp and die bundle called country flowers i do not have that one yet i'm not sure i'm going to get it i'm kind of waffling on that one um it also comes with these smoky slate pearls which i think are wonderful such a great color also um this petal pink and white quarter inch diagonal trim ribbon combo pack and you know me and white ribbon especially quarter inch um, so I think I'm really gonna like this I don't know if you can see the little line pattern on it it's really pretty and it's very soft pliable and you can tie a really nice bow with it also, it comes with two different packs of designer series paper. Um, one is called Country Lace, and I'm using a little, little bit of one of these pieces in this card today, and I did not take all these out to show you. The other one that I have not used yet is called Country Woods designer series paper. Um, here's the front and back of the first three sheets and then the front and back of the next three. So that is going to be a great pack of paper. It'll be great for these little birdhouses, I think. I haven't used it yet. Um, there are 12 sheets in that pack of Country Woods paper. So as we go along, I'll show you some of the other things that I've used. I did already cut several of the items out. Um, you can see there's tons of little goodies that I die cut, and I didn't want to do it on... The video because it would take forever. Um, there's things that I'm going to be doing that will probably take a while anyway, so I didn't want this video to be an hour long. So this is kind of what you're going to need to make this card, and if you are not familiar with my channel, um, you can either scra uh, snag a screenshot of this here, or I always make a PDF with all the measurements and all of the supplies I've used and you can find a link to that PDF down below this video in the description box. So um, these are pretty standard with the, the sizes on them. Um, there's two of each of these because I am going to hopefully remember to do the inside of the card today. Um, I am using, part of my plan was to use all of the new in colors 
which I have right here, um, including basic beige. It's not really an in color. I do have this little sample that I made and sent out to some of my customers. Um, so it's a nice comparison of the new colors and you can kind of use this to see how these colors compare with um, current colors we have or colors that have already retired. Um, also, I am using um, scraps of each of the new in color cardstock and scraps of the new uh, 2024 to 2026 in color DSP. You can see that I cut a lot of the little flowers out of there already. Here is a piece of the in color DSP. It's what I used for the birdhouse. And these are six by six sheets of paper. So you can see that this is a good way to die cut the birdhouse. So you can get two of those out of one of these sheets of paper. So let's see, where do we want to start? I think I will, let me, let me color one of these little birds really quick and show you how I did that. Um, I don't know how well you can see the bird. Um, I did just kind of quickly color him with a few different colors of the new ink. So I'll show you how I did that. First, I'm going to take my basic beige um, and I'm just going to take a, a little acrylic block and I'm going to pick up some ink on the block. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I've got a water painter. I'm using the one with the smallest tip. I am going to squeeze the painter to get the water flowing a little bit. And I'm just going to pick up some of this ink off the block. And I'm just going to quickly, I don't want the color to be too saturated and I'm not filling in the whole bird. I'm not like painting in the whole body. So I'm going to give that another little squeeze and clean that ink off of there. Take a paper towel and clean that block off. So next I'm going to use some of the Pretty in Pink, which um, this is a color that they brought back. We did have it um, a while ago. I'm not sure how long it's been. I certainly didn't need that much ink. So I am going to take my water painter again. Um, just going to, I don't want it totally pink pink. So I'm just going to do a few little squiggly lines randomly in here. Maybe I'll give him some pink tail feathers. And that's it for that color. So you can see how easy this is. And if you stamped several like this, you could just color them all in a few minutes. It's really easy. And I think it turns out pretty good. So it's a lot easier than coloring them with pins, I think. So now I'm going to take the peach pie. I can't remember the names of the colors yet. And for this, I'm going to first do his little um, beak. So I want it pretty good bright yellow. And then his little feet. And then 
I'm going to get a lot of water in it and just do a little bit of yellow around his face. So let me put my water painter away and my ink pad. And we'll clean this off. Hopefully I don't have ink everywhere yet already. So that, that's pretty much all you need to do to color the little bird. Of course, you can color it any way you want. Use the pens, the Stampin' Blends, the markers, whatever, watercolor. Um, and I did do this on just basic white paper. So um, not a lot of water involved, not a lot of brush strokes, so I'm not pilling the paper. So there's our little bird, and then you would die cut that with a die from the set. The next thing that I'll show you... Let's take our, here's our card base, and we've got a layer of pretty in pink, and then we have this layer of white, basic white, and it, um, you can cut at four inches by five and a quarter, and then I used the largest die from the color on color and contour set which is retiring if you don't have this and you like cutting out rectangle things and it has this great flower with the die that matches and some wonderful sentiments anyway i love this part of it and i will keep it forever just because of that so i used my the largest die this with the scalloped edges to cut out this piece and then I took the there's a little tiny chain hanger stamp in the set so I stamped that in memento tuxedo black ink and then I ran that through um, my machine with my ornate floral 3D embossing folder and got these really cute little flowers embossed on there. So let's, I'm going to sit down again, probably not for very long. Um, let's put some of these layers together. This one, um, I think, I think I'm going to glue it because of all the little ups and downs and holes everywhere. It's going to need to grab onto the paper pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to have to stand up again. I don't know why I can't put layers of cardstock together sitting down, but I just can't seem to get it straight. I have enough trouble standing up and doing it, but they really don't come out very good when I sit down and do it. Okay, so there's that layer. Okay, the next layer I'm going to adhere to the card base, and I'm just going to use my tape runner. So we'll put this layer down and try to... Get all of the edges even. That looks pretty good. You can see our cute little chain there. So now let's put our little birdhouse together. 
So I've got this birdhouse piece cut out with the hole. You have to cut the hole out of the center and you don't have to do it right here. You can do it higher wherever you want it. I also have this little piece that goes there, this little piece that goes up against it, and this is from the Country Lace pack. I don't know if you can see that very good or not. And then just a little strip of the Pretty in Pink. I keep wanting to say Petal Pink. But before I glue these down, I am going to... I don't know if you can see this on the video or not, but for this roof part that's in the basic beige and this bottom part down here, um, I did take my basic beige ink and a sponge dauber and went around the edges a little bit. So let's do that really quick. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper. So I get my basic beige and a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to hold this and put a little color around the edge of that. Um, I'll do the ends too. I'm not going to do the inside edge of it. And you can put as little or as much as you want on there. It just kind of gives it a quaint weathered look and then I'm also going to put some around the entire edge of this bottom of the bird feeder and I don't know if you can see this either but I did stamp those little flowers on there before I cut this piece out. Um, I find it a lot easier to stamp things like this and then cut the piece out then cutting the piece out and then trying to stamp the design on there and get it straight because I just, I have better odds doing it the other way. So I'm also going to, I've got a little circle that I cut out with my stylish shapes dies. Course I use those all the time. I use the second from the smallest. Um, you don't have to use this set. You don't have to use that die. Anything that's big enough to create a little piece of paper that's going to fit behind here so it kind of looks like the birdhouse has a back wall to it. Um, you could, you know, it doesn't have to be round. It could be square. You could just cut a little piece of paper, whatever you want to do. So I do want this to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to kind of give it a little distressed look. And I'm also going to put some on the little dot, which is the little perch, if I can get a hold of it. And I should have colored it before I cut it out. And I did not color it on the original card. You could also use, instead of cutting that little dot out, you could use um, some kind of a gem. Um, I haven't bought any of the new gems that are coming out in the new catalog yet, so... There might be something in there that would work great for that. So let's put our little birdhouse pieces together. Let's take the little roof piece first. Hopefully I'm in the camera. We'll put some green glue on it. And try to 
get a hold of that. Let's see if I can line it up with the edge and the top. I'm going to actually pick it up and flip it over. And hopefully I've got time to scoot it around a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So the next piece we're going to put down is the piece from the Country Lace Designer Series Paper Pack. I think that the little design that I stamped on the bottom of this piece, I think it's actually meant for stamping on each side of this. So maybe when I make some more cards with this set and use the other paper from, let's see, Country Woods, give that a try, maybe I will stamp that little design up here. Okay. So this piece, we're going to put right up against the roof piece. And this piece is pretty thin, so it might be a good piece to um, use some adhesive sheets on instead of glue. But I didn't think of that until now. All right, so let's see if we can tuck that up in the peak of the roof, line everything up. There, how cute is that? And then this piece I just glued on the bottom. You could just leave it like that if you wanted. It looks really cute. So I'll try to match all those edges up. Got a little oozy glue. And then let's also put our little dot on. And I think I'm going to see if I can use a mini glue dot. Mm, maybe. Give it a little dimension. So we'll put it right underneath the door. So now this next part, turn this over, I'm getting sticky glue everywhere already. This next part, this uh, birdhouse, I actually am going to pop up on dimensionals, but I don't want this piece, you know, right up against that. I want it to have some dimension so it looks like it's farther back. You could either glue this down to your card front, if you can figure out kind of where you think it should go, or you could, I am going to put some dimensionals on the front of the circle. So I'm just going to cut some little pieces from this strip. Maybe four little pieces. And I am going to Try to place them on the circle. 
I've got covers coming off everywhere and I can't tell what they came from. That one is not very sticky. All right. Ugh, they're so tiny, they're hard to get a hold of. So I'll put one on the bottom. And I'll put one on each side. Gosh, I can't tell if that's, it doesn't feel sticky, but I'm not getting paper to come off. I guess I better cut another little piece. I might have got it done sticky by having my fingers on it too much. All right, let's get one more little piece of that. I have got two snoring dogs beside me right now. And you want to make sure that you put this on the front of that circle, not the back. Okay, so there's my little circle. And I am going to turn my birdhouse over and then I can lay my circle on the back and hopefully that covers up the punched out hole area pretty well. Goodness, that was kind of rough. All right. So now let's put some dimensionals on the back of the birdhouse. And I think just because I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this circle. So we'll take our dimensional covers off. Now I'm going to have to stand up again. We'll bring our card base piece in and try to center our birdhouse Get the chain centered at the top. Give that a press. Give this a press if you put glue on the back of it. Okay, next let's attach our little bird. I did cut part of the white off the bottom underneath his feet. Um, not really necessary, but you can if you want. And I think I am going to, I will glue him. Could put a glue dot or two on the bird if you want. So there's the little bird. So what I did with all these little flowers and leaves, um, I just took all the colors of the designer series paper and the new in color card stocks and just went and cut a bunch of the flowers out. There's four different flower dyes. Um, 
There's these four different flower dies. There's also two dies that cut out these little stamped flowers. There's also this nice little, um, I don't know, grouping of flowers that you could use too if you wanted to color. That would look pretty on these corners. So in the hopes of saving some time, I have already glued my little flowers together that I'm wanting to use. So you don't have to watch me do that. So the first one, I'm just going to take this one and where's my little tweezers? These are great reverse tweezers. If you don't have them, you should get yourself a set. I am going to set that right about there. And then I'm going to take this one. So the pattern color combination that you do is up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, so let's set this one right about there. I don't want to cover this up completely. I want to see it in part of that little design. So the next one I am going to, let's use, I'm going to take this pink one. And I'm just putting a little dot in the middle because I do want to slide some of those leaves under there. Although you can um, cut the little stem off the leaf and then just poke the leaf right up against this. Let's take, I'm going to take a double leaf set. I'm going to cut the end of that off a little bit. Put a little bit of glue on there. Um, this is probably the most time consuming part of the whole card. So I'm just going to poke that under there. Glue that down. Let's take a single little, this is Summer Splash. Let's see, let's grab one that goes the other way. Summer Splash, cut the little bit of that stem off, I guess you'd call it. And I'll put that one up here in the pink and then I'll take another one put this one under here And looks like I need a shy shamrock color. So we'll put that one in here. So whatever you think looks good, however it works on here for your layout. So let's do this other side of the flowers. I'll just set that one right there. And take this little guy. It's almost too little to keep my fingernails out of the glue. And then this last one, I'll just set right here. Okay. 
So I do want to, I don't know if it's too late to, nope, I can pull that off. I did want to stick a leaf under that one. Let me grab a different one. I didn't, shouldn't have put glue on the leaf part, just the stem. So I do want some leaves on this layer. And we can put this one back on here. And then... I guess I could have at least snipped those little ends off before I started the video. That would have saved some time. So this one... Put it right there. I think we need one. Down at the bottom. And let's put another one at the bottom. overlap that one a little bit even though they're different colors and then let's put a smaller one uh oh my glue thinks it doesn't want to come out anymore that one right underneath here okay I think that's pretty good so now I'm going to grab some iridescent pearls basic jewels and I am going to put one on each one of these little flower centers this is pretty much how all of my gem packs look all of the little ones are gone and I haven't used any of the big ones I don't know why but I uh, they just usually look too big to me. Okay, so there's that. Let's do our inside pieces. And I don't usually do this, but um, I usually just put a piece of white in there. But I did put the pink behind it for this card because the card's so stinking cute. So let's take... Our basic white and grab our tape runner put some tape on there layer that on the pretty and pink and then we'll and here are pretty in pink piece to the inside of the card. Okay, so there's that. So the last thing I'm going to do is I decided it was kind of bottom heavy. So I decided to put a 
linen thread bow at the top and I thought a messy bow was kind of appropriate for this. I did make um, some, let's see if I can find one, normal, this is my normal size messy bow and it's when you wrap around three fingers and then two fingers but it I think it's just too big for this card in comparison to what I ended up using um it looks okay uh you would have to cut some of the tails off but let's do a little bit smaller one or attempt to do a little bit smaller one I don't make these very often so you might have to bear with me. And when you pull this linen thread off the spool, it's gonna be all kinky. So if you just um, pull it tight with both hands across the edge of your counter or your table, you can straighten it right out. So I am gonna cut a little piece to tie around the bow and for the bow I am going to use I'm going to use just two fingers so I've got my tail down here I've wrapped it over my two fingers I'm going to go one two three I don't know if I did that many. Let me start over. I think I just did two. So I've got my tail wrapped up over my two fingers. One, two, and then just over this finger. And don't you don't want to do it very tight or you won't be able to get it off. One, two, and then leave a little extra. And then Try to get a hold of all of it and slide it off your fingers and you can see I did get that tight. So you can see the loops here. You can kind of turn it to get your ends even and then what you want to do is hold all the loop centers at the top, grab these bottom pieces and just push them up. And I usually just give it a little twist. And then I'm going to take my reverse tweezers and let them hold that while I tie a little knot around it. Okay, so I'm going to turn my bow over, pull my little knot tails down, get these little tails on the front to go down. And I'm going to pull these a little bit to even them out. I might might have got my knot over too far, but it's fine. So then I'm just going to take these little pieces and pull them apart. And you can see why it's called a messy bow. So I'm just going to take a glue dot and put it on the back of this bow. I'm going to give it a little pinch. So the glue dot's not quite in its circle anymore because we don't want any of it showing. And then I'm just going to attach my bow to the top of the birdhouse, trim a little bit of this length off. Leave 
these as long as you want. It kind of reminds me of the little um, twines and sticks and stuff a bird would bring to its nest. So it is kind of appropriate. Not sure why these brand new scissors aren't doing their thing. Okay, so there is our little bow. That one's too long. And that is our card. How cute is that? And I thought it was fun just to use some of the new product and try to um, add in all of the new in colors. So I think they all go together pretty good. What do you think? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, I hope you like this card. Uh, if you're not a demonstrator, you will be able to order these items the beginning of next month. And if you're not a demonstrator and really want to order things now so you can start using them, you can always sign up to be a demonstrator and um, you would be allowed to order these new products. So, um, thanks for stopping by again. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're getting anything out of my videos, please hit the like button, share my videos with your friends and family, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for spending some time with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.